Hi guys, Redneck Wannabe here. Hope all is well today. So today we're going to talk about making stuff just bird friendly around the place. You know, I guess from, from my perspective, God kind of has it under control and the less that we can put our, you know, put our, our hands um, in it and get involved, um, God's got it. So what you're looking at, um, I bought, well, here... Here is the uh, the mailbox. I bought the other day. I went to the uh, thrift store with my wife, and I ended up buying three mailboxes for like two dollars. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to make uh, birdhouses out of it. So it's the middle of February here, and I don't think that the birds have started um, uh, making their nests and all that. So hopefully, um, I can get it uh, get it in time. But all I did drill the hole there, drill the hole in back threaded some wire through it and I'm gonna uh, find uh, obviously a couple branches to uh, uh, to hang it on and I think I'm just gonna leave this open and if you can see that light way back there in the back if it does rain hopefully that's a drip hole so uh, any of the water can can drip right out so before I hang it I have a feeling that my um, my nine-year-old is gonna want to paint it you know fluorescent pink or something like that so we'll see so there's a birdhouse um, and actually you know what Jay Noel had a video not long ago, well I'm not sure how long ago it was but there's my other birdhouse we're gonna see if that works so that's just an old planters peanut um, jar I guess and uh, so I made that into a birdhouse. So we'll see how that works. But uh, but anyway, um, I had a couple uh, four-inch PVC caps hanging around, and I just thought I was going to make a bird feeder out of this. So um, so far so good. The only the only thing that I can see that I may have an issue with is if it rains. Um, this is probably going to get pretty full of water, so I'll have to come dump it out. I didn't really want to uh, put a, a couple holes in it just because the bird seed is so small, but it hadn't rained yet since it's been out, and, you know, this has been covered in birds at times. So we'll see how that goes, but, you know, $2 PVC redneck uh, bird feeder. And then this is... Last summer, I grew some birdhouse gourds, and I only had, I think, three that uh, they got that big. So, um, so there you go. So, nothing has gone in there yet, but like I said, I don't think the birds have started to um, started to make their nest. So, you know, um, the way I look at it is with birds. Um, you know, the more birds, the more bees stuff like that that I have around here. They're gonna take care of the insects, uh, obviously the bees and, and, uh, and all that will, will pollinate. But if I can just make, make my place as, I guess as friendly as possible, then I'm gonna have a better yield. I'm not gonna have to mess with insects and all that. So, um, you know, here's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. Who knows if it works? I will let y'all know. But uh, thanks for watching. Y'all take care. See ya. Bye. 